My name is Mark Cotter. I'm a clinician scientist at the University of Cambridge and a complex spine surgeon. When I was a trainee about midway through my training, uh, I met uh, a very sharp lady who suffered from myelopathy. And it was actually the first um, cervical operation I did on my own. So I took a lot of care, um, talked her through the procedure and the risks of the application. And thankfully, the operation went very well. However, in return for sort of providing me trust, she knew exactly who was talking to me because uh, she was a retired uh, senior nurse. She started to demand information uh, in, the, in the form of letters. So every three months I would get a letter, five to ten pages long, with the minutiae of you know, her symptoms, where they are, the changes that she's noted, and lots of questions. And I tried to address those questions as best as I can. So I went into um, the research databases and tried to come up with answers. And actually, there was no answer to any of the questions uh, that, that she asked. Um, that, that included, you know, what do I do with my numb hands? When can I walk again without a stick? How can I improve my bladder function? And realizing that there is such a need out there, but at the same time that there are so little answers, um, I felt this was really worthwhile getting into. And on a surgical side, it's also a very interesting topic. So myelopathy.org started uh, as an internet platform, mainly because you know there was only two people, three people involved initially. And the internet gave us um, quite a far reach, much more than we could reach uh, individually. But I do hope that as the organization grows, uh, offline groups are going to be formed and that patients will choose to come together and, and meet up uh, and ex exchange their experiences and support each other. So hopefully we can take what started as an internet initiative into the real world. And hopefully we can do this not only for patients but also translating, um, for example, information that's relevant and necessary and important for clinicians to offline symposia. And today is really uh, one of these uh, days where we have come together, we brought together um, UK spine surgeons and they're having an offline discussion. So the background for the receipt myelopathy study which is really the first regenerative medicine trial for myelopathy, is because there's a huge unmet need. So surgery can stop the progression of myelopathy, and it generally gives you a mild improvement. However, if you want to go beyond this, you have to tap into the mechanisms of regenerative medicine. So that will be regrowing axons, nerve cells, and regenerating the glial compartment, the support cells. And we found this uh, wonderful drug, which in theory is able to do both. And therefore, the idea of receipt myelopathy is to try ibudilast as an agent to drive regeneration after surgery. So if this is successful, uh, then what we would expect is that patients that are diagnosed with myelopathy are started on on ibudilast, and that by taking ibudilast, their outcomes would improve. 